So, hello again, and welcome to another video on how to pass a driving test, it's this time in Gloucester. And we're going to have a look at part of the driving test route that goes up through Hempstead Village, across by the Keys, and then onto Bristol Road. Now, I got talking to an instructor once who was convinced that uh, examiners can influence the results of ex their tests by the precise use of their wording and this is one instance where he might be right so the first thing we're going to do is go out onto the uh, A430 Hempstead Bypass and the thing to watch out for here is you're still in the 30 mile an hour zone. So it's a four lane road, but it's still 30 mile an hour speed limit. Catches out an awful lot of people. As we go over the bridge, just check the right mirror as the lanes merge. Make sure nobody's going to try and come around you. And we're still in a 30 mile an hour zone. widens briefly for the traffic lights and then merges back in again again check the right mirror make sure there's nobody coming around you so up to the 40 mile an hour zone when we get to the traffic lights we're going to turn left towards Hemistead village for some reason I really don't understand some people read this sign as being straight on to Hempstead Village. I can't quite understand why you would read it that way. Some people do. But we're going to turn left towards Hempstead Village. Back into the 30 mile an hour zone. I'm going to climb up the hill. This is often a spot that's used for a, a hill start. And the road's going to bear round to the right. And there's a little mini roundabout which doesn't appear on the sat nav. We're going to go straight ahead the mini roundabout there's the roundabout now just after the roundabout there's a road narrowing with traffic calming which we have priority but I often find vehicles coming through there without taking notice of that and then we're going to turn right at the mini roundabout Making sure you make the effort to go around the roundabout. So we're going to carry on down the hill, um, heading towards the roundabout on the Hempstead Bypass. And this is one of the areas where the precise wording of the examiner can make a difference. Because sometimes I've heard them come down here and say, um, when we reach a roundabout, if you go to the right hand lane, then life will be easier for you. And sometimes they'll say nothing. And life is an awful lot easier coming down here if you go to the right hand lane when you reach a roundabout. So it's a fairly straightforward drive down here. Um, all we've got to worry about is meeting situations with the vehicles parked by the side of the road it's not a particularly busy road and then just looking ahead so I've spotted the meeting nice and early and there we are no drama whatsoever same again there we go okay fair enough 
else. So when I come down to the roundabout, I'm going to go directly over to the right hand lane. By doing that, I've just made life really easy for myself. So we're going to carry on straight ahead until we get to the traffic lights. The traffic lights are going to turn right, so another lane change. And sometimes if you're in the left hand lane there, and the traffic's busy, it can be difficult to get yourself across. When we've turned right, going on the road up to the bridge, we need to be in the left-hand lane to go straight ahead at the next set of traffic lights. So I'm going to go directly into the left-hand lane. So one of the features of this particular route is there can be a lot of um, there's a lot of different lane changes, and if you know where you're going, if you know which lanes to follow. Um, or if the examiner has been particularly clear on what to follow um, then it's really quite easy um, however it can be quite a difficult one on the sat nav um, again you might get some assistance from the examiner on that so we're turning right and then at the next set of traffic lights we're going to go straight ahead as we turn into the road, you can see there's arrows in the road, right turn arrows in the right turn lane, and straight ahead in the left lane, so we've taken the left lane. We're then going to go over the bridge, and as we come off the bridge, the road's going to widen to two lanes. And at that point, I want to take the right hand lane going straight ahead. So it's not the right turn lane, it's the right hand lane going straight ahead. And here's the road widening directly to the right hand lane going straight ahead. Now the next set of traffic lights sometimes panics people because you're coming up towards them and you will see the road arrows are saying turn right from this lane and sometimes people think well if that's wrong they shouldn't be here they should be going straight ahead in actual fact this is where you've been directed to go to so this is the correct lane and we're going to follow it round to the right again when we turn right the road's going to split to two lanes. We want to go straight ahead at the traffic lights. So straight ahead at the next set of traffic lights. So we're going to keep to the right hand lane. So go to the right hand lane here. And there we stay in the right hand lane. To go straight ahead at the traffic lights. Now, I just should stress that I've obviously come through there knowing my way through and taking the correct lanes all the way through. I've got to stress that it doesn't matter if you go into the wrong lane. You will not be penalised for going into the wrong lane as long as you do it safely. So if you take a lane that says turn left or go straight ahead, that's not what you want to do. Stay in that lane, follow where that lane goes. Either the sat nav or the examiner will, will put you right. As long as what you've done is safe, you won't be penalised for this. Right, so we're on to Bristol Road, and I'll see you again in the next video.